Hey, what's good, everybody? Dust for Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have the Jordan 4 All Mama in Year while you were sleeping. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, fam, this pair comes from Upshoe, a seller I have used plenty of times in the past. They were nice enough to include their information right here on this paper, including their website, their Instagram, their WhatsApp, and a cool little coupon code. Just use regular for $15 off. Gonna go ahead and leave this right here on the screen so you can check them out. All right, so first things first, we have the box. It is a pretty big box, has a lot of details, starting with the way it opens. You can see it folds open side to side and you're met with the Amma Minier logo right there in the center in silver. You can see over here we have the Converse logo, the Jordan Jumpman logo, and the Nike logo with the swoosh right there embossed in black on the box. Upon opening the box, you're met with a lot of things that I took out. So you just have the regular white tissue paper. But you can see the back side of the actual box has this really cool metallic silver film over it with the Amma Minier logo embossed all throughout. On the inside, you're met with a bunch of different little things, starting off with this, what I want to say is maybe like a suede or fleece little piece of fabric that goes over the actual shoe when you're seeing it in this nice burgundy red color. You also have what came on the shoes being these hang tags, one in this little cardboard with the Amma Minier branding, Jordan signature, and the actual logo right there. And then the plastic hang tag saying Nike swoosh and air, and kind of like that burgundy purple color. You'll also have two sets of extra laces. You have the clean, just regular white ones, and then you have the nice cream ones, which are probably the ones I'd go with, if not the ones that they came with. Getting into the actual shoes, Uppers are comprised of a really nice, soft nubuck in a kind of pale pink colorway. That's for the back as well as down here, down the lace guard, and a little bit around the toe box. You have the wings as well as the winglets right here in kind of like a pale, off-toned kind of light gray. It shows more gray on camera. In person, it is closer to matching this nubuck color right here. You still have the side cage right here with the mesh under it again in kind of like a pale pink colorway. You have this really nice soft, you can see furry suede around the toe box in kind of like a pale pink. The midsole changes a little bit. It goes from black, nice to a creamy yellow and then to black again. And then you can see that creamy yellow down here for the midsole as well as the clear air bubble. Outsole we're met with what I call the Amma Minier purple. Back to that creamy yellow. You have the Nike logo right there in that same purple, as well as the back towards the heel. Coming to the toe box, you still have that nice soft nubuck in the pale pink. Same goes for the toe box cage, as well as the laces. You already saw the white and the cream, but now you have the nice little pink, which I think I'll keep in there for at least a little bit. They look pretty cool. Nice soft nubuck for the big four tongue there. You have the tongue tag has the Amma Minier logo in kind of a darker gray, shiny material, and then flight there in white. Come over to the inside of the shoe, you have that nice quilted sock liner and kind of like that Amma Minier purple. We've seen it plenty of times throughout shoes now. The back of the tongue, again, we've seen this before. You have the Amma Minier logo printed all throughout and then Air Jordan upside down. Harder to show you in the actual inside of the shoe, but it is the same as this right here. It has the Amma Minier logo printed all throughout. Coming over to the back side, you still have that nice soft pale pink for the new buck. You do have that same kind of grayish pink 
color for the heel tab, just like the wings and the winglets. You have Nike, the Sushin Air in black. Media side, you pretty much have the same thing as the lateral side. You have the nice soft new buck back here, down here, down the lace guard, and a little bit around the toe box. You have the nice soft pale pink suede, fuzzy, furry here around the toe box. Same goes for the side cage. A little different, obviously, just because it's the side. Then you have the wings and the winglets in that kind of like off gray pinkish tone. It's really hard to describe. Hopefully the camera is picking it up pretty nicely. Then you have the black midsole right here and then the cream part with the clear air bubble. Right shoe, pretty much everything is the same. The only difference is the tongue right here. Instead of the Amman Minier logo in flight, you have the Jordan Jumpman printed there in a nice kind of like a dark gray. All right, so I do believe this is the second time Ama Manier and Jordan Brand have done a collab on the Jordan 4 Silhouette. Now the first one was a much darker version, same sneaker with the same pretty much design and stuff. Only big difference was that one was much darker, like a brown purple, I call the Ama Manier purple, but definitely darker. And then this one is a nice pale pink. They also changed the materials a little bit. So the uppers are still new buck, but then around the toe box, you have that really nice soft fuzzy suede, which I'm always a sucker for. I love the contrast for the midsole where the uppers are that pale pink, but then you have the nice black to cream back to black to kind of give it that contrasting feel and not have it just blend together. You still have the Amma Menier details like the A logo right there on the tongue. You still have the back of the tongue with the Amma Menier logo all around it. And then something that we've seen plenty of times now with Amma Menier's collabs, the sock liner being that nice quilted satin. I think these are really nice step in the right direction as far as collabs go it is nothing super crazy or out of the box but it is something that Alma Manier has definitely done well in the past kind of giving us that luxurious feel without going too crazy that the normal person normal Jordan wearing person couldn't wear them I definitely see these being something simple for pretty much anybody across the board whether you're super into collecting sneakers like me or just a simple casual Jordan wear, this is probably something you're gonna wanna have in the rotation. All right guys, just like always, I really appreciate you coming to the channel and hanging out for a bit. Till next time, I'm Dust for Kicks, peace.